Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so we were sent this problem and initially stationary box of sand is to be pulled across a floor by means of a cable in which the tension should not exceed 100, uh, 1100 newtons. The coefficient of static friction between the box and the floor is 0 0.35. What should be the, great, uh, the angle between the cable and the horizontal in order to pull the greatest possible amount of sand? And what is the weight of the sand and box in this situation? So let's uh, start solving this problem the first thing that you need to do is to come up with a free body diagram so you can see the free body diagram shows the uh, force in the cable 1100 newton it shows the weight it shows the normal force and then there's a force of friction as well now this uh, tension that we see here uh, which is inclined at an angle what we need to do there is we need to resolve it into components so right here you see that the two components are t cosine of theta and t sine of theta so going forward uh, we would be using this second uh, free body diagram so here we have our free body diagram and let's start with applying newton's second law in the horizontal and vertical directions in the horizontal direction we have only t cosine of theta and fs and they are in opposite directions so that gives me the equation t cosine of theta minus fs equals max. And in the vertical direction, uh, there are two upward forces and one downward force. So t sine of theta plus fn minus mg equals may. Now, since this is on the verge of moving, both max and may are zero. So there is we can just say that uh, t cosine theta minus fs is zero and also t sine of theta plus fn minus mg is equal to zero so we're going to be working with these two equations modifying them a little bit so first thing is the uh, force of friction is always equal to uh, the coefficient of friction times the normal force so rearranging that i have fn is equal to fs uh, over mu s which I'm going to substitute in the second equation. So get uh, that uh, Fs from the first equation here. So if, if you look at this equation right here, this is going to lead and give me this equation. T cosine theta is equal to Fs. And uh, therefore, I can say that Fn is equal to T cosine theta over mu S. And then uh, T sine theta, here I can substitute Fn into that equation. So Mg rearranging gives me T sine of theta plus Fn. And then Mg is equal to T sine theta plus T cosine theta over mu S. And I can divide uh, throughout by G, uh, which gives me this expression for uh, the mass of the box. Uh, in order to find the maximum amount of sand that can be pulled I need to get the derivative of this equation with respect to theta and then set that derivative equal to zero remember that the derivative of sine theta is cosine theta and the derivative of cosine is negative sine theta so there's my derivative then I make uh, it equal to zero so cosine of theta minus sine of theta is over mu s is zero solving this will give me tangent of theta is equal to mu s and the problem tells me that mu s is 0 0.35 so theta will be tangent inverse of 0.35 which is 19.3 degrees so that's the answer to part a uh, the angle of 19.3 degrees will make this uh, the maximum the angle for which maximum amount of sand would be pulled now I need to calculate the weight of the sand in the box. So I already have the equation for the mass. Now all I need to do is substitute uh, all these numbers. And uh, here are T's 100, 1100, G's 9.8, theta is 19.3, and uh, mu is 0.35, gives me 303 kilograms. And then I can uh, find the weight. Weight equals mg which is 2969 uh, two newtons. So that brings me to the point where I have solved both the parts of this problem. Now, if you remember, if you have any problems that you would like to be solved, you would like to see videos of those problems, uh, please uh, send us your questions to 
info at sageeducational.com if you are looking for somebody to help you we have tutors for all subjects and all classes uh, you can contact us and we will have a tutor work with you uh, very very shortly so i hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video please uh, hit the subscribe button like this on facebook and uh, you can uh, get more problems uh, sent our way and we will solve those problems for you uh, have a good day people enjoy yourselves and uh, uh, remember always solve problems using full work shown thank you